Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you. So today I'm back with the another interview question. So the question is we have to find employees who bought a product at least three consecutive days. Okay. So this is the purchase table. And in the purchase table we have two columns, the employee ID and the purchase date. So in the employee ID, the employee ID contains the employee IDs of the employees and the purchase date contains the dates of the purchase made by the employees okay so, okay as you can see the employee one made purchase consecutively three days and employee three made purchase con consecutively three days two three four one two three okay and employee number two and employee number four did not purchase consecutively okay so, we're gonna write some logic for this so, all right so first of all we will assign the row numbers to the table all right so row number order over close and in the order over close we will give order by column order by employee id all right now we will run the query oops So we assign rows to the table. All right. So now we're going to rank according to the employee ID. All right. Dense rank. Partition by employee ID. And uh, order by purchase date. sorry so we will get the ranks according to the employee id according to the purchase date okay all right so who made purchase uh, on first of august will get one rank who get uh, the who made the purchase on second of august will get rank two and who made the purchase of third uh, of august will get rank three okay so we build a logic accordingly okay so just be with me okay so these are the two columns okay so let me rename these columns rn and dn all right all right so we have two columns so now what i'm going to do this i'll create a cte and with the help of this result set i'll sub subtract these two columns with each other okay i'll no, I'll do 1 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 2, 0 because the result is same of 3 rows. So that means these values belong to the same group. So that means the value is in consecutive order. So that means employee 1 made purchase on a consecutive day. Okay. So employee 2 made purchase 4 minus 1, 2 and 5 minus 2, 3. So that means th this is not consecutivity. Okay. 1 and 3. All right. So employee number three made purchase on 2nd of august so six minus one five employee number made purchase on third of august seven minus seven minus two five and eight minus three five so the numbers is same the result is same and the difference is same so they belong to the same group so that means there is a consecutivity employee made purchases made uh, purchases on a consecutive days so that means the difference is same of both the employees all right from CD okay star now RN minus DN okay as diff all right so as you can see the difference is zero 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 so that means employee made purchases on consecutive days one two three one two three and we are ranking minus ranking with the row numbers all right and according to that 333 three, three, the result is same so we will count of these differences whose difference and we have to find at least three consecutive days okay so again we will create ct2 as select from ct2 and employee id group by employee ID and 
this having count equals to we want three consecutive days okay so three all right so let's run this and we got the output so the employee one and employee three made purchases three consecutive days all right so this was the one solution now i have another solution for this solution so what i'm going to do is let's write the query select a trick from purchases all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to compare the value previous value from the next one okay so for that we have a very beautiful function which is called lead function exactly okay so in the lead function what we're going to insert the parameters the purchase date okay and the interval and the additional parameter all right and the over clause all right and in the over clause we gonna make partitions by employee id and order by purchase date all right partition by all right so this is the nxt column next date all right so we have two columns to compare the difference between the both the dates all right so for comparison we'll create a cd here and for comparison we'll use the date function which date function the date diff function all right star date diff okay and the interval also the interval we want we want month because this one is as a month you know sql server this one this 8 january is reading as a month because this is not 8th of august this is a sorry first of august and this is the second of august actually but the sql server is reading as a 8th of january and 8th of february so we are considering this as a month and we are taking interval a month okay so the purchase date and nxt date okay as diff all right the difference so what we're gonna do here is we can check first of august second of august one second of august third of august one all right and third third zero we don't need this row all right first of august then third of august not consecutive to disqualify third of august third of august zero no second third one third fourth one perfect four four zero okay so what we want here we want this we want we want filtration okay so we want those rows where value should be one all right and equals to one all right so as you can see employee one made purchase of 8 gen uh, 1st of august then 2nd of august okay and the next day of 2nd of august is 3rd of august both the three days are covered and same in case of employee ID three all the three days are covered all right so what we want employee id employee id that's it and we want D I S T E I N C distinct employee id so this is our output all right guys hope you have learned something and if you have better solution better logic than this so please put in the comments and uh, i would love to see your results as well if you like the video so hit the like button and please subscribe my channel all right thank you so much